Hello everyone and welcome back to John's Food Review. Today we're going to be trying some cookie dough flavored Twix. Now I don't know if these are new. I don't know. And I haven't done one of these in a while because I don't know. I lost track of time and couldn't keep up with it. But uh, yeah, so I saw these Dollar General and I'm like, okay, well, I don't think I've ever had these before. And I don't know if they're new. What side do you choose? I always hated those commercials. They're exactly the same. They're exactly the same. And to say, pick a side. Because it was at a time where I think they started coming out where everything was a team. You know, you had Team Jacob and Team Edward and then Team this, Team that. It's like everything had to be a team. You know, Team left, Team right. No, it's the same freaking Twix. Just stop. Oh, it smells kind of like cookie dough. It's kind of like cookie dough. I mean, there's a good amount in there. Hmm. I wonder if it would help if it was frozen. Or like really cold. You know, because when you eat cookie dough, it's usually out of the refrigerator. Hmm. I might have to try this again, because again, when you eat cookie dough, well, John, you're not supposed to eat cookie dough. When you eat cookie dough, uh, you usually, wow. I don't know what that was, but it was salty. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but it was salty. Uh, yeah, I think they're not bad, but again, I think if it's going to be like a cookie dough flavored something, it would definitely be better if it was frozen or cold. This one, I they were just kind of like sitting in one of those little cardboard things, just sitting in there with like M&Ms and stuff. Um, again, every time I've had cookie dough, it's always been from the refrigerator or for the freezer and it's just... It really brings out that cookie flavor. So I might try it again. Um, maybe tomorrow. I'm going to Ingalls tomorrow, probably. So see if they have them there. But if not, I can just walk down to Dollar General and uh, get them down there. And then come back and just stick in the freezer for, you know, because there are some things that are just meant. It's kind of like Pop-Tarts. Some Pop-Tarts are meant for the freezer. Um, I think maybe this just might be one of those things. Does it even say it's like best of eating from freezer? Uh, uh, let's see. Cookie dough, food, cookie crunch, no chocolate. Um, no, doesn't really say anything. I think even with um the pop tarts, I think doesn't it say on the box, you know, to put it in the freezer or whatever. Uh. Again, it's good. You know, anything that's like cookie dough is good. It's just, it's just, it doesn't have the same texture you expect from cookie dough is pretty much it. You know, you, you think of like really, think of cookie dough, it's firm, but very soft at the same time. You have the chunks of chocolate chip, you know, the chocolate chips in there and you get that crunch from the chocolate chips. Um, but since there's a Twix and all that, um, you get that, you know, crunch anyway from, you know, the cookie itself and, um, yeah, I think I'll have to try that again. I mean, I don't think I've tried many other things twice. Um, I think actually the only time I've tried something twice was the, um, the pink sauce, 
You know, I tried it the first time when it was just like right out of the bottle. It was still warm. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a fair chance. I put it in the refrigerator and I gave it some time to, you know, cool down and chill and settle and let all the flavors mesh and mingle and get to know each other. And then I tried it again and I'm like, eh, it's still bad. Um, so I think that's the only time I've tried something twice. So I'm definitely going to have to try these again. Um, I like giving everything a fair chance, so. But other than that, I'm like, it's a Twix. You really can't go wrong with Twix. You know, it's a good, good chocolate. Got the crunch of the wafer or the cookie that's in there. Uh, so not too much to say about that. It's just a standard Twix. If you take out the cookie dough part, uh, I think just like I said, the firmness and the, 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 the cookie dough, because whenever you have cookie dough, you kind of have a certain texture that you're used to. Again, it's firm, but soft. You know, it's, it's, you know, you're able to melt, you know, into a ball and it stays like that. It doesn't just, um, but when you bite into it, it's, it's soft, but it doesn't like, you know, it, it it's hard to, if you've had cookie dough, you know what I'm talking about. Um. So yeah, I'll have to try it. Maybe, hopefully, and these are, the, I don't know if they have bigger packs. I'm just completely out of the loop when it comes to candy now. I don't know what they have, what they don't have. I'm like, is this standard size now or bigger packs? I, just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so out of the loop on so many like, stuff like that. because I don't, you know, but I'll go to Ingles. I got to. That stuff anyway. I've been putting off shopping for like the last week just because it's been so freaking hot and I felt like crap after working. So, but tomorrow I just go to work, get it done. Just, just do it. Just do it. Um, I'll see if they have them. I think they usually have a better selection of candies and chocolates than the you know, Dollar General. But one thing I still can't find is, uh, no oh, bottle caps. Can't find them. Can't find them. Can't find them. <laughs> you know, I just I can't. I, every store I've I, I go to, I just I can't find them. So, and hang on, I want to see if there's other flavors out right now, and see if this is a new flavor. Hang on, I always like to look up this stuff as I'm doing this. So hang on. All right, so I'm on the Twix site, and uh, I saw this. Twix cookie dough ice cream pint. That sounds really, really good. Uh, let's see. All right, typed in my area, and they don't have anything. They have Circle K's and 7-Elevens, and... Ah, oh, sheets! Of course, you can't see it. Hang on. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we got a bunch of 7-Elevens. We got, let's see, Rockwell, Rockwell, Mount Pleasant. All these aren't too far, but I see, yeah, I see like 13 miles. I'm not going to go all that way for a freaking pint of ice cream. Um, Let's see. Uh, Our chocolate, just... Why? It's the same thing. All right, we've got cookies and cream, salted caramel, ice cream bars, which, you know, obviously, see, uh, put it right in the freezer. Twix ice cream. I think I had Twix, just a flat out Twix ice cream. It's actually really good. Um, is that really all they have? Huh. You know, for Twix, you would think there'd be more variety. But we have one, two, three, four different flavors. It just seems a bit odd. This seems a bit odd. But like... Salted caramel. You can't really go wrong with salted caramel. Cookies and cream. Uh, 
I hate when people say it's like Oreos, but it's just like generic cookies and cream. You know, you get like ice cream. It's like, oh, Oreo ice cream. But then it's just like generic cookies and cream. They just slap Oreo on it. But at least I, I respect it more when they just say cookies and cream. Rather than Oreos. Oreo flavored. It's not Oreo flavored. Like if you take out the cookies and actually look at it, they're not even Oreos. Um, That's interesting. That they don't have... Cookie dough. Yeah, if you, you kind of see the the way it is, it's like a paste almost. You see the chocolate chips and everything, but you know, I think I just think it would be better if you put it in the refrigerator or not the refrigerator, the freezer, so it hardens up. Um, I mean, it just makes more sense considering it's cookie dough. You want that nice firmness to it, so. We all like to be a little firm sometimes. Um, but yeah, so you can expect to see a, a part two probably tomorrow or the day after or something where I come home, put it in the freezer, let it sit there for however long it takes for them to freeze up. And then uh, I can actually, I, I would say break my teeth, but... Now, I remember with Pop-Tarts, you know, there was a time when you weren't able to put them in the freezer. You'd bite into them and you would pretty much break your teeth. Um, nowadays, they're kind of made, you know, people they, they, people in mind of, oh, well, these people might put them in the freezer. But back when I was a kid, like if I put like the apple ones, the frosted apple or into the freezer, it's, no, you'd break your freaking teeth. No, because they were hard, solid. Nowadays, it's like you can still eh, into them, but I assume it's the same thing with like chocolate nowadays because I know a lot of chocolates back then were made the same way. You put it in the freezer, you take it out, you try to bite into it, and you break your teeth. Nowadays, it looks like you can pretty much put any chocolate or whatever in the freezer and you're just fine. Um, I don't do that so because I don't really buy chocolate. So tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I know. Back when I was a kid and I was putting, you know, chocolate in the freezer and Pop-Tarts in the freezer. Yeah, they were solid. And if you tried to bite into it, you would break your teeth. Um, so. But yeah, I'll do a part two because uh, I definitely do want to give it a fair chance because it is good. I just, I just want to see if putting in the freezer will help the cookie dough firm up enough to where it actually feels like it's cookie dough. Instead of like some weird cookie dough paste. Cookie dough paste. Um, so giving it a fair chance. And if I see see him tomorrow, uh, see him tomorrow at Angles, I'll get one. Um, and if I see anything else, I really should get back to doing like these. They're simple to do. Uh, and it doesn't really cost a whole lot to buy something that's like a dollar. So Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.